Wow, we held it one. Isn't that wonderful? I love Be Live. Yeah. This is a cool app for our program. Let's see what we got. Well, guys, hopefully we are live, even though the thing says we're not live. Yep, we are live. So that's a good that's good news. Guys, I'm here uh, here today with Heath Phelps, guys, Pressure Washing 101. We're going to discuss some things. How the heck are you doing today, Heath? Good, man. It's you know long week, a good week. But I'm doing good. Saturday, right? Well, you just got back from vacation, right? Yeah, but uh, I uh, the ground running. We flew in Wednesday. Our flight, it's the first late flight I've been on in years, and uh, we landed late. We got our bags late and drove home. You know, like the car was on fire. Changed into our work shirts, went straight out, put the truck on a job, and then six back-to-back in-person estimates, which is unusual for me to do in-person estimates, but, you know, some people want it, and I just had arranged them all to be on Wednesday, so it was crazy. So, hey, thankfully we're busy, right? That's it. That's what it's about, right? I was laughing when you guys, you were like, wait till we get back. You guys are enjoying the fruits of our labors, you know, because you were saying that guys were getting some work that you weren't getting, but when you get back, we'll we'll tear it up. Guys, we're talking today with Heath Phelps. Um, this this, believe it or not, it is the top seller right now. Um, it's the Pressure Washing 101 Guide. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Heath in um, Houston, Texas at the Wash Mart event. He actually came and helped us out there, um, actually did a class. What that class did you do there again anyways? We lost, we lost heat there for a minute, guys. Hopefully he'll get back in here. But guys, it's the 101 guidebook. You can check it out. Check it out on Amazon, guys. Um, it's 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 pretty it's a pretty cool book. Um uh definitely, guys, what it is is I believe that and and he to get back in here. Um, it's just it's a guide, man, of his journey. Um He's re let's let's uh, let's let the cat out of the bag. He's a brand new guy, I believe, October of last year. So he has not even approached his first year. But what he did uh, uh, through his journey is is he compiled all these things, all these things that are here in this book. He compiled them all, and the bottom line is, guys, um, you know, he's back. He's back and now you're not on screen. There you go. Let's try it again. Bam. Yeah, like you froze on my screen, so I just refreshed everything. Sorry about that. No, no sweat. So we're good. We're good. But I was just telling him, you know, you wrote this thing. Um, basically, you were just doing your research. When did you start doing the research for the guidebook? I'm mean, obviously before October, right? Uh, really in late 2019 late 2019 so it took you almost almost nine nine ten months i really had finalized most of the guide notes by june and that's when i really started sharing it and uh i kind of you know obviously i was telling guys like look i haven't watched a single thing these are just my notes so it was a google doc it was live and there's just a lot of guys that i was meeting on the forum that were like brand new and they were like, man, I just don't understand how to dig in the forum right. It's just not for me. And I wasn't active on Facebook at all. So I was like, well, hey, these are my notes. You can take a look. And guys were like, this is the best thing I've ever read. This is amazing. And then it was a live document that anybody could share. You know, it's published on Google. And so I knew the cat was out of the bag um, in June because I started seeing it pop up on Facebook. And I started, I think I got on Facebook and like, like the groups probably in uh, spring of 2020 and then by june it was like everywhere and i was like okay and i'm taking a and i'm taking a i'm taking a stretch at this 
I've got to say that this is I, I see three three basically media pieces on pressure washing. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you know this. When you go to Amazon, you can buy all three for like forty dollars. They give you like a deal on it, and. I've got to imagine that you right now, and I don't know if, does Amazon keep track of who the top sellers are? I mean, are you leading the pack yet or? I'd have to go look at the Amazon data, which I can pull it up and let you know. But um, I mean, the sales are just doing this, but I mean, I think that's because the longer it's around, the more people are aware of it, which is I am, I am here just to make the claim. I don't know if it's false, but I say that this is the number one pressure washing guidebook on Amazon. I don't think anybody's selling more than this is right here. There was a little bit of controversy. I remember when I first talked to him about the gold. I love the gold on there because I think it's <laughs> I think it's great. But I know he was like, well I don't know if I want to put that on there. Because you, you remember you telling me you, yeah. you weren't you weren't really sure. I think it's a great deal. And then I think the back is is great. I mean everybody that authors something needs to have their little story on the back. And I mean the the this 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 thing has upset a lot of people and really the only thing that it's upset is they just didn't think about doing it themselves that's it i mean that's it. at the at the day's end it's just a clever little genius thing as a lot of guys say this information everything in here i mean he got off the internet it's just nice and compiled I would say, am I safe to say this is kind of typically your journey of research, basically, of how you got when you decided to pull the trigger? Yeah. So back in 2018, we started talking about it. And I say we because I went into this with my best friend. And then we started really looking at the business aspect of it in 2019. So mid-2019, we sat down and, you know, we did a business plan. We did the viability of it. And um, we actually... Um, pulled government data on the industry and I want to say it's been a while since I looked at it but this is like a four billion dollar industry is what it was something like that mm -hmm. and that's not that's not with vendors like that's just washers because it you know, government data is pretty pretty precise they're looking at tax stuff um, and so we were like wow this is you know not a small industry it's bigger than you think and so we were like okay let's go and then we got into it and obviously I didn't know anything when I started researching and I had a buddy that was helping me just a little bit. And he was like, you know, don't start with a four, four. And then as we progressed, it became, okay, we're going to do a service body. And then it became, we're going to start with an eight and a five, five. And uh, I really like that combo. The eight's great for flat work. Five is great for washing the house because you pull stronger, but that all came to be in the notes. And our notes at first were combined. And then I started, I just kind of took it over and I started organizing it. And then it became so big that I put a table of contents in it and then it turned into this. So I didn't actually decide. You had no plan. It. You had no plan that this was going to be a book, right? I mean, no, 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 no. Like the fact that it was getting shared all over the internet just like shocked me because I could track the views on it and it was like nuts. And it was making our, company webpage blow up in Google stuff because I could see how many people were clicking on the blog and stuff. And I was like, wow, this is surprising. Like the, this, every single thing about this book and the blog and the helping people, like it's surprising. And so when you asked me to come speak at the National Cleaning Expo in Houston, the Washmart event as a new entrepreneur, I was like, well, wow, that's really cool. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And I was like, man, my biggest thing with the book was this is not like a knock, but so many guys were reaching out trying to offer me money that I didn't want to deal with it. And I know that sounds silly, but it, it was just a lot. So I was like, maybe I should just publish it. And so you inviting me to the expo was like, that was the deadline. I was like, I have to publish this book and get it ready before I go to the expo. And I didn't have like a reason. I was just like, you know, if I'm going to do it, let's just do it. Where in the hell is your instructor shirt, man? Where the hell, what did you do with it? Oh, man, it's, it's hanging out. It's Saturday. I'll go get it if you want it. I got it. Um, <laughs> no, just you just ordered a paper copy. Uh, hey, man, I really appreciate that. I love the profile photo. The reason you're doing it right there, your kids. Um, so, actually, if you want to be correct, Ron, you 
inspired me to get on the ball and publish the book because I had no intentions of publishing. It's it. my fault. You're blaming me. It's, it, it's <laughs> until you invited me to the conference, I had never thought about it. And I was like, well, I uh, should do this. And it's funny. I published the ebook. And immediately, guys were like paperback. I'm like, oh man! So I went back to the guy that, that formatted the ebook and said, "Let's do a paperback." And uh, he did a great job. There's a guy on Fiverr actually. And uh, so there's a couple of changes I want to make to this. And uh, the word on the street, John, <laughs> I appreciate that. So there's a couple of changes I want to make to it. Like there's specifically some guys on the forum that I need to name in here for like the amount of knowledge they shared. Um, you no. Know, uh, Without asking them, I'm not going to like name their names, but I'd really like to just kind of give some credit where it's due. Um, well, I'll call one of them out. Like Tony uh, Durrett has been amazing to me through this entire journey. And, you know, what I like about Tony is like he doesn't always agree with what I do. But the reason I like Tony is like he's a professional. When he disagrees with me about something, he just says, I don't really like the way you're going about this. I don't think what you're doing. Then he'll say right after that, but keep doing you. Like keep pushing, like keep being you. Um, but the really thing I started with the book and you can see, you know, after you get past the forward is forming your business. I think a lot of guys struggle with this part, you know, like watching this stuff, you know, and get into stuff. like I never looked at an LLC to protect yourself by forming an LLC. I've never going and getting a federal EIN number. I mean, it's a simple clicking link and you know, filling it out. So I think that that was where I kind of went back and added that up at the beginning of the, my notes because my notes just had links in them. I did it. So I did it easy. I, don't, I didn't just link my I could go back and buy it. So then when I really got to about this in December, I kind of went back and revamped the and I had a lot of guys um, look at it. It's like, you know, hey, look, I got this for you. Um, take this. So I probably had three guys that five years of experience. You know, I got a copy of it and read through it. Four guys with over 10 years of experience. And, you know, a couple guys with three to five that I knew really well. And you know, nobody really had any negative feedback. They had, uh, there was a couple of, Hey, maybe you should be more specific about this because it's kind of a vague uh, guide guidance in there. Well, well, let me ask you this question. So, I think what a lot of guys want to know where you're going with this. You're going to build on this right now. You're you're at like you got 36 different basically chapters in this thing for being such a short book. So, I mean, I can't imagine that if you if you even took 10 of these and went into more detail, this thing's going to look like a telephone book before you get done, right? I mean, this, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just like, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think that it, like, as I, as I learn more that I would like to add more, and there's stuff I could revise, but it's one of those things, like, I'm not going to revise it, you know, every month, because that's just a lot of republishing and stuff like that, so I probably will revise it every year, so probably you're looking at a revision coming out this December, you know, if we actually slow down, but we're in Houston, so we don't know that we'll slow down. But um, so likely at the next cleaning expo, there'll be an, a revised copy out. Um, how much, how much co-collaboration do you know? I mean, do you know how much co-collaboration there is really in this? I mean, cause I want everybody to understand that, like, we're going to say this again, this is information you found. And I mean, and, and, and some of it's your own information, I'm sure, but like, or your own experiences, but like, you know, you've got so many guys in here, you know, references, telephone numbers. I mean, it's, it's it, 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 it goes on and on and on. I mean, what do you think it is? A hundred guys, 50 guys. Um, Man, easily fifty, but I would say the core, the core guys I pulled knowledge from were ended up probably being like five or under, um, and that's because as I was taking notes, you know, you learn to kind of sift through who who is still in the game and who is relevant. Because like I read stuff all the way back into you know two thousand eight, but um, I tried to stay relevant. You know, like I really didn't go for any detail past 2017 
but I would go read stuff. And that was cool too. Cause like the forum actually has a lot of historical stuff about our industry. Um, whether good or bad, you know, the, the cat fights and all that stuff. But like, you know, it, it helps you understand, you know, some of these big guys where they came from and where they got started. And, um, that stuff is kind of cool. Like the forum is, is a great historical reference to aside from data. Like it's really hard in Facebook to go back on a forum group because you get so many posts. Um, I found that the, the Peter Berry forum was really good for that. Um, same thing with the Press Washington Institute forum. You know, I've, I've looked through that. I'm a member of that and going back, there's a lot of historical stuff in there. When did you become a Pressure Washing Institute? You did that after you wrote this, didn't you? Mm, actually, I think it was during my publishing of it. I want to say I joined in like January of this year, or of 2020. Yeah. No, 2020. Wait, is it? When did we do? Yeah, 20, I joined this year, January of this year. Okay. Now yeah, I've looked at the Pressure Washing Institute. Because you, you referenced nothing in here from the Pressure Washing yeah. Institute. And I, yeah. and I thought that was kind of funny. Well, you know, the 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 thing is the um, Pressure Washing Resource Association is definitely um, – it's a busier forum. Um, it's more active. Uh, it's obviously got a lot more a, – a lot more of the younger guys are on there where the uh, – there's just a bunch of older guys that are on. What's crazy is, is that, like, I did a little – uh, little background checking in to like where are people now and I think you saw some of those old videos I just recently put up some of those guys that have been out there for 20 years they're still in business they're still plugging along uh, they're still doing their things and I want to do more of those I want to do more of those videos bringing guys back that you know hey started like hey John started on Power Wash Network uh, it actually started on the old DCS one, which we sometimes talk about. That was in the 1900s, <laughs> and then we bring, and then we bring Power Wash Network brings us into the 2000s. And there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that uh, you know obviously are on Facebook and other platforms now because you know the old bulletin boards just got too janky to. To, to work and basically everybody wants everything at their fingertips. So now everything's, you know, exploded on social media. Uh, I don't want to say forums are dead, but there's, they're, they're still a good, I think there's still a good resource, but I mean, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're ever going to come back where people are going to be posting on them again. We'll, we'll have to, I guess the verdict will be out on that in the future for, for how technology evolves. But guys, today we're talking with Heath Phelps, guys. I put the list, I put the uh, link in here. It's the Pressure Washing 101 Guidebook. Give them a, a really quick, what's the cost on this thing? I think people think that this thing's, you know, 100 bucks or $99. What, it's actually what on sale about? right now on Amazon. What's, it's on what's, sale for $17.55 right now. $17.55, and the digital version is? $9.99. Nine ninety nine, man. And if you buy the paperback version, because there's so many links in here, just reach out to me. You can email me at the email that's in the book, um, or you can reach out to me on Facebook, and I will send you the PDF for free. So all the links work for you because I didn't write this to make money. I wrote this to help people. So here's a lot. Here's a long one, man. I, it, this is this is basically just a hats off to you. I don't know if you know Brandon or not, but he's giving you a big old. Big old. Dumb. I do know Brandon. I talk to him almost daily. Talk about a really great dude. And yeah. that guy just built a completely new trailer, enclosed trailer. He's done an awesome job. I think he's wrapping it up right now. Um, yeah, I know a lot of guys like it just because these kind of charts are bigger in the book than your phone screen, you know? So, like, that can be handy. Um, I think the shocking thing to me is when I have guys in the industry that have been in like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, they, they message me and they tell me that the book like taught them something. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> Cause I, I didn't hit publish on this. I want to say we had done over 75 jobs before I decided to publish it because I wanted to make sure that everything I in there was like applicable. And like, I wasn't just like pulling that off the internet and publishing it. Like our first job ever was, you know, a 2000 square foot driveway and a 5,000 square foot roof. So we were you know, straight into the fire. <laughs> like, um, 
and then we went from there. We just do a lot of roofs down here in Kingwood, um, clean a lot of different surfaces. Uh, I'm envious of all the guys that clean all the vinyl. I get a lot of brick. It's awesome. But Speaking of learning something new, I don't know if you saw that Gerald yesterday just realized that bleach will activate better without surfactants, even if the surfactants are compatible. Do you know why that is? Because it takes oxygen in order for the, the bleach to ignite. And when you use any surfactant, it's going to have a deprivation to the oxygen until it starts to dilute. It's bonded with the H. Correct. And it, keeps, and, it, and it actually slows the activation process down. Guys think that surfactants can, well, surfactants helps water work better. It doesn't necessarily make all chemicals work better. It's good for breaking surface tension on vertical surfaces. Mm -hmm. So that is handy. Like, that, can, yeah. that can be the right answer, like especially like in hang time if you are cleaning vertical surfaces. But I get why Gerald doesn't use it on roofs. Because that guy is probably able to wash. Hi. Uh, probably. That's the flat work queen. Um, probably there she is, the flat work queen. Yeah. How's it been to everybody? She's I, I got, I'm, I, hey man, I've got oh, my yeah. book. What page is she on again? 85. I got a, I got I know a that her. Because so many people ask me, okay, she's in page 85, everybody. So if you see her, her favorite thing ever is to sign the book for you and page 85 and then tell you that she's the best. When, when I, when I come to the next monthly meeting, hopefully maybe I can make it next month. We are definitely going to have her sign this puppy right there. So I noticed you left. I noticed you left room. I noticed you left a lot of room for her signature. Is it big? More famous reason I left more room is so she can put a signature and lipstick right there. Like she can kiss it. Yeah. Maybe we'll get her to use that Tom Ford lipstick that won't rub on the other page. You know, like the fancy stuff. I guess I have to buy that. I don't. I don't the know. expense, the expensive stuff. Mac will do yeah. the same thing. <laughs> there you go. Um, but so, you know, like, um, I'm still figuring all this out. Like, uh, it, it's funny whenever I show up to something. I showed up at the expo and I only brought like 13 books. I gave five away, so I had eight to sell. And there was a line like out the door, and I'm like, "What's happening right now?" Okay, I learned the lesson. More people want the book than I thought. And it was brand new, so like, I didn't know. So Gerald invited me to speak at his roof clean class, which uh, I'm all about. You know, because I I sat through the classroom portion of his class and learned stuff. Like, he doesn't just talk about roofs. The guy talks about his experience in the industry, what's worked for him, what hasn't worked for him. It's super useful. He tells me there's 12 people going to be in the class. I show up, there's 22. So I actually was like, oh, I brought 12 books. No, there's 22 people. All 22 want the book. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> funny. No, I well, have boxes of books coming. Well, I love it, man. You've been around the industry a year. I've been around for 35 years, and Gerald won't even return my phone call. So you guys. <laughs> I don't think I've ever talked to Gerald other than in person. So I don't know that that's a personal <laughs> front. Like, uh, uh, he did show up at the networking lunch, which was awesome. Um, and he got to he brought his Lamborghini, which was super cool. And the only person who got to ride it was Mindy. I don't know. I feel like that's like gender selection, or I don't know, like favoritism. <laughs> but uh, no, well, I was good to see. Say, we won't say why he gave her a, a drive. <laughs> well, they know each other. Like we, they, when Gerald came to the expo, like he met my whole company, and so we've we've hung out with him. Um, you know, he was at the karaoke, so it's like we, we know him. So it was good to see him again. And like I said, I was really, I really appreciated the opportunity to come up and speak his class. I mean, you know, that's his show, and he does a great job, and uh, he really puts him. Well, your old your old company, right? Because your because your business partner, it, you guys all basically, you guys all live together. Is that right, or am I wrong? No. So you guys we live together. We drive each other crazy daily. You guys jump out of bed. Who is somebody responsible for cooking breakfast every day, or just kind of on your own? So we trade off who makes lunch for the truck, and if we forget, then we, you know, we buy lunch. But uh, grab some water burger. The, the breakfast, yeah, <laughs> one of the judiciary branches of Texas, water burger, along with Bucky's. Um, yeah, this the staple of government here. So 
<laughs> we, we, we do trade off like so if we get up early we'll make breakfast and stuff like that but i'm the only one that like eats three squares a day obviously I admit. <laughs> we um, don't miss a meal <laughs> yeah I, I can't miss a meal it's a medical condition that's why i tell everybody i've been telling everybody so long they know that it's the real deal well, man, say we got a good feed right now. Say something in closing. I think we keep this thing under 35 minutes. Somebody might actually watch it <laughs> rather than go three hours. Um, yeah, say something in closing with this thing, man. I mean, I mean, you know, what do you, you know, you, you obviously we want people to buy it, but you know, what you got plans for updating? You're going to speak at a, you're going to be speaking at other events. You're doing a monthly meeting. Is it monthly or are you going to do it? No, I mean, I like to do it on Sundays because it's typically when guys aren't scheduled to watch it most of the time. So it's the end of the I plan on doing it. So in Houston, I want to start doing like a networking lunch. And like last, this last time we did it at a crawfish place that was outdoors. It's easy. It's great weather. Um, I think it's good to meet local guys. Like I don't seal, I don't seal stone or anything like that and i met a long time industry veteran that he seals stuff i don't even know he was in houston but now i know his company i know who he is if i see him post online i know him and like we connected and i was like i don't offer this i'd like to refer you for all of my customers that want sealing and he was like send it <laughs> money you know but uh for the book i like i said i intend to revise it at the end of this year so at the next expo it'll be revised because it takes just a few days for the ebook to get republished same thing for the paperback so it'll be like a four or five day down period about a week um i gotta start i gotta start working on it i i i i read some of the sections but i did read the concrete cleaning that i can't stand that word flat work as you guys you know man but i'd like to contribute some some a couple of paragraphs in the in, in the concrete cleaning or even a or even maybe a video link or something in there to uh get show these guys the proper way in a commercial situation i don't think a lot of guys understand that commercial concrete and residential concrete is very different i think people are differently People don't understand the density is just way it's three times the tolerance. Yeah, um, it has to be. And uh, you know, I it was funny because I called Whisper Wash to give free surface cleaners away, and, and they know that my kid orders them with 15s in them, and they go, "Oh, you don't want no 15s?" No, of course we don't want no 15s because these guys that are using on residential will be ripping. They'll be turning driveways aggregate. <laughs> yeah, that's what I try and tell guys. Like you know need 4,000 PSI on a residential driveway or you'll be using Craig Harrison's F9 circle technique, which is fine, you know, but you ideally don't want to be doing that. No, don't want to make, don't want to make more work and, you know, put undue wear on substrates. I mean, these guys, a lot of them, I, my biggest thing in the industry is to get these guys to stop thinking that strength and chemicals are a better thing. Cleaning something multiple times is often better than trying to go after something with a with an aggressive chemical. You know, you you they don't realize the damage that they're causing to these to these substrates, and sometimes the damage it's not physically viewable for months for months later. And uh, a lot of guys don't understand that. Specifically, one is awnings. I try to get these guys, man. You know. These heavy degreasers and things that they use on these awnings. Yeah, great. The awning looks great. But when you come back and look at it six months later, it has no UV protection. It's it's the the degreasers basically crack the threads in the awning and you can see the awning drooping. You know what I mean? It looks right. like a saggy awning. It's not very tight anymore or anything like that. That was caused by your improper techniques. And so many of these guys don't understand. They'll even argue, no, I didn't do that. Yes, you did. You know. Yeah, but you're, Ron, see, you just upset the, the, the whole send the lava crowd. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> send the lava, send it. My, I got some buddies down here. They do joke about it, but their favorite term there's is uh, Thaddeus down here. He's just like, his, his, his name, company name is send it, power wash, power wash. And he loves to say, bro, I just send the lava, but uh, – He's he's a great, talented guy. He does really good work, but that's he jokes about it. So no, I think you know I've talked to him. You know I've talked to him quite a bit. Did he tell you that? Yeah, like I talk to Thaddeus almost every day. Like that's a good dude. And 
Yeah, he grow uh, and push in South Houston. I'm glad that I wish he lived closer to me because we're friends, but I'm glad he doesn't live closer to me because he would take all my work. <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 trying to build up his commercial, which is cool. I like to see guys. You know me, man. I don't. I'm not a residential guy. I just residential stuff bores me. I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, could you see me dealing with Mrs. Jones? It just wouldn't work out. <laughs> I don't know. See, I like dealing with Mrs. Jones, but that's right now. Maybe it'll change. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is, and it and it and it and it takes. You know, I mean, it it's all it it all boils down to a matter of prefer- preference. I just want guys to know that, like, I think that, like, right now we're seeing these guys out there. They're trying to jump on everything. We're gonna seal garages. We're gonna do paper sealing. We're gonna wind up doing wood restoration, and uh, nobody that I've ever seen in this industry in thirty five years tries is successful at doing all those things the guys that find out whatever specialty i don't call it niche i call their specialty if you're a specialty guy and you're doing residential exterior cleaning great that might include decks but it's it's we're not talking about resurfacing decks or refinishing decks i think if you're going to be in the wood restoration business you need to be in the wood restoration business and yeah if you wash a house or two here for a good client that you know you do the wood restoration fantastic that makes a nice fit but you focus on your wood restoration or you focus on your roof cleaning look at gerald you you know i mean i don't know if you know nobody realizes this. that's all he does is cleans roofs right it's he'll, he'll for a customer he'll do a house or a driveway but it's not the norm um i thousand percent agree with what you're saying i don't do wood i refer mm-hmm. all of my wood out to one of my buddies who well he will wash but he likes to do wood. That's like his thing. He's good at it. The only thing that I will do is a very small section of wood. And I really, really try not to advertise it because I don't want to get a thousand wood calls, even though I refer them all out. Um, Cause I've got that guy slammed already with big projects. And I, I agree with you. It's like um, if a customer's got like a six foot section of fence or like yesterday we did our biggest piece of wood yet was like, 15 foot gate and uh it turned out really good you know like i know everett's got some good data out there but uh shout out to dustin gomez because he's been sharing his process and that's what we used and uh, um, you know just cleaned it with sodium percarbonate and then uh, rinsed it and then cleaned it you know followed up with oxalic and then rinsed it and it turned out beautiful the customer was ecstatic and i was like you do need to seal that when it dries. You can't just leave it. It's like you, same- are you going over? Are you going over the Washmart event? They're going to have the uh, paper exactly. sealing and wood restoration. You're going to you're going to try to get over there. That's good. Yeah, yeah I, I don't do paper, paper sealing. I don't do wood restoration. But you know me, I love networking, and I I want to meet Jamie Schmidt. And there's some other guys. Lonnie's going to be there, and you know yeah. Marco reached out and personally invited me, which I was really flattered. I mean, Marco has been really helpful after we met at the Washmart event. Like he reached out to me as like a business owner and like just kind of like walk me through the progression of what he went through and how he transitioned and gave me like just priceless amount of information without asking like i didn't ask any questions he was like hey do you want to talk sometime i was like yeah and then we start talking because i just like to share with you my journey and what i went through and the hurdles that i overcame and like you could put that in a book i mean like Marco should write a book on LinkedIn networking, but you know, like, did he, did he tell you that he has had so much success recently in the contracting business? He rebooted his contracting thing up and he's trying to make it bigger now. I mean, I do. Did, did he talk to you about that? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Like a year ago, he was going to not wash. Now he's, he calls me up and goes, Ron, he says, I can't do it. I, it's unbelievable. We just got these fleets. We got these these property managers wanting us to wash these shopping centers. And then so he was having a guy that he was subbing it all to, and now he's putting everything in play to actually put hiring processes in and, and replicate. You know, he's done with having just one or two units now. He's he's talking. He wants to do, you know, he wants to get, he wants to have 10 trucks move around Houston, which I think is cool. Because I think Marco, I think if anybody can do it, Marco can do it. You know what I mean? So Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hey, man, I appreciate you taking Saturday morning, man. And all you guys out there, the Amazon link's out there. Remember this thing, man, is on sale today. Uh, if you guys want to grab one, and then Thanks, the electronic Fred. version's nine ninety nine, guys. So it's not a not a ton of money, man. And uh, like you just seen these testimonials out there, including mine. 
It's a great resource. If you are starting in this business and you don't grab a hold of this thing and have it handy, you are silly for $10, for $20. It's ridiculous. Not everybody, 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 all the 10,000 guys that have just joined this industry in the last couple of months, order this thing, man. It's a, it's a number one seller out there for sure. Thanks again, man, for coming out. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And if you have the book and you have any questions, just reach out to me. Thanks a lot, Heath. We appreciate it, man. Bye-bye. Have a good one, everybody.